Most of you know the car brand that goes by Suzuki. It is world renowned and known for such cars such as the Suzuki Jimny and the Suzuki Alto. Now what we have here is the more improved Suzuki Alto. I'm presenting to you guys the newest Suzuki Espresso. And uh, nothing beats starting your day with a good cup of coffee. The heck? Possible kind of man. What we have here today is the newest Suzuki Espresso which replaces the Alto 800 in the newest entry model vehicle from Suzuki. It, guys, it's small, really small. Smaller than the cars that we know that are small. Meaning it's smaller than cars like the Toyota Wigo and the Honda Brio. Uh, so let's start with the exterior of the car. Uh, the hood here, as you can see, not much character styling here. It's very plain. If you go down here, we have halogen uh, headlights. Um, pretty okay for the price point that it's it's being sold at. Uh, there's also a rather unique looking grill. Uh, kind of reminds me of uh, Jeep grills. If you go into, if you go down here, we have blank fog lamps. Uh, pretty much something you'd expect from an entry uh, entry level model. And if you go down here, it does have a rubber cladding uh, type of bumper that does give off a feeling of toughness. Um, so what we have here is the latest Suzuki Espresso's engine, powered by a 1.0 liter engine, but it is already an upgrade from the previous um, Alto 800cc engine. Uh, this is powered uh, only around 67 horsepower uh, and only 90 newton meters of torque. Uh, and as for fuel consumption, we are getting around 14 kilometers per liter in the city and 24 kilometers per liter in the highway at an average speed of about 90 kilometers per hour. So let's move on over to the wheel setup of the Suzuki Espresso. What we have here is a 14-inch wheel fitted with hubcaps but pretty common for an entry-level model. Uh, it is also fitted with disc brakes and drum brakes in the rear. Uh, we also have an MRF ZVT V tire, uh, not a known brand but enough to bring you where you're going. So let's focus on the side character of the Suzuki Espresso. The first thing you notice here is that we have classic style signal lights. Um, usually, kasi sa mga modern cars ngayon, either nasa side mirror siya or nasa harap. And if you move on over here, meron din tayong classic style door handles. Uh, very reminiscent of cars in the 90s or early 2000s. Meron din tayong manual folding side mirrors. Just enough to get you through your daily drives. Uh, and if you notice, meron tayong character styling that goes all the way to the back. Uh, para siyang yung mga nakita nyo sa gym na batak, pero maliit. Pero okay lang yun. Uh, and if you notice here, we also have a high uh, belt line and a high ground clearance. And a little fun fact, actually has the same ground clearance as the Toyota Wigo, but as for the belt line, the Suzuki Espresso is a little bit higher. So let's move on over to the rear of the Suzuki Espresso. Not much that you could expect here, although it is an obvious upgrade from the old Alto. Uh, what we have here are uh, halogen uh, rear, uh, rear, um, rear lights, halogen rear lights. And what we also have here are only reflector lights. And uh, what's pretty surprising here and uh, something that we would not expect from this type of model are that it has rear parking sensors. So I think that's very cool. And if you go up here, we also have third brake lights. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty nice for how it looks and the price that it's being offered at. And as for the cargo space of the Suzuki Espresso, one thing we notice is that it doesn't have a trunk lever, 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 boy. Uh, so you'd have to open it by key or inside using the lever. So if you go here, uh, we can open the trunk of the Suzuki Espresso and uh, not really expect much for it. Uh, pwede siguro a few days worth of groceries or three or four overnight bags or or this. So, okay na rin siya guys, but don't expect uh, that we could fit a child stroller or anything of the like. However, one thing that's cool about this Suzuki Espresso is that the rear seats actually do fold down. 
So here we are in the interior of the Suzuki Espresso. Uh, what you first notice is that it is kind of a tight cabin, uh, but legroom is okay for both passengers uh, in the front and in the rear. As for the dashboard layout, the first thing you notice are the plastics. And uh, with usual cars, because plastics would be sort of a cheap uh, way to design or, or create the dashboard. But in this case, uh, Suzuki executed it well enough na hindi siya mukhang cheap. So I think they did a very fine job here. Going down to the steering wheel, um, it is made of polyurethane material. Uh, okay lang naman siya. Uh, it can be improved, pero hindi na rin masyadong masama. Uh, it also is a little bit slippery, pero okay lang yun. Uh, moving on to your side mirror controls. Uh, they're manually controlled. Uh, same with cars from the 90s or early 2000s or any entry, lo uh, entry level or base variant. Uh, so, pretty common. Uh, and what I think is one of the most interesting pieces of the interior is the speedometer, the digital speedometer gauge. Um, pretty unique. Uh, meron kang fuel gauge as well and uh, fuel consumption and gas um, gas consumption as well. Uh, ang problema lang dito is wala tayong temperature gauge. So it's one of those cars where in pag mainit na yung makina niya, may lumalabas lang na, na indicator. Uh, wala rin tayong tachometer or RPM. So it's a bit odd for um, a manual transmission car kasi hindi mo malalaman kung saan na yung RPM mo. So it'll be a bit hard for newbie drivers. Uh, but that's okay kasi you get to feel it naman when you drive it. Going down to the entertainment aspect of the Suzuki Espresso, meron tayong touchscreen head unit. Uh, meron din tayong Bluetooth, USB, and the radio. Uh, pretty basic. Uh, and if you go down here, what's rather interesting is that yung window controls niya nasa gitna as compared to it being the sides kung saan tayo masanay. It functions the same way though. Pero yun nga, nasa gitna siya. You go down a little lower, and dito yung aircon controls natin. Uh, pretty basic. Temperature, um, yeah, blower settings, uh, speed, and etc. As you would expect. And going down a little lower, Meron tayong cigarette lighter, pretty basic, and a USB charger or slot. Uh, going down a little lower now, meron tayong cup holders, uh, which I think is very uh, kind of Suzuki for providing. At least alam niya na you know, people still drink in their cars. Uh, we are fitted again with a 5-speed manual transmission and going back here, meron tayong handbrake. So here we are at the rear seat of the Suzuki Espresso. You can fit up to 4 people comfortably. Uh, pwede mo rin siyang ipilit ng 5, however, uy! However, uh, guys, it'll be a tight squeeze. Guys, so wrong. Pare social distancing. Sorry. Mahirap na, mahirap na, mahirap na. Go, guys, go, guys. Woo! Kasi gusto ko rin kasi ng alone time kasama yung Suzuki Espresso. Uy! Guys, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, nalimutan ko pala. Uh, the front windows are powered, pero sa likod, uh, we're still using the old manual rollers. They're called manual rollers because back in the day, even premium cars actually had these rollers, dating as early as what? The 40s, 50s, 60s, hence, manual rollers. Wow, guys, for a small car, ang laki ng legroom natin. It's pretty comfortable, especially on a road trip, and I'm about 5'9, 5'10. And I'm, I'm actually comfortable right here. So I think this is a really good plus for the Suzuki Espresso considering it's supposed to be a small uh, small car. Uh, if you notice also, for the re for the seat design for the front and the back, we have two-tone fabric. It's not too fancy, but it's okay. And also, if you notice right here, we have door handles. Uh, okay lang siya. It's, it's average. It's not the one that flips over, but it does the same thing anyway. We uh, have seat belts, which I think are rather... Uh, neat and uh, very uh, very good for Suzuki to actually also include a seat belt for the mid middle passenger, uh, more so na parang pang bata or, or something of that type. Uh, and then if you go down here, meron din silang function that they left uh, that could double purpose as a cup holder. Pero isang cup holder lang siya, okay lang rin yun. And um, for also extra cargo space, these rear seats actually go down all the way until here. So kung dalawa lang kayo and you guys wanna go wakeboarding. Kasha sha at some point. So here we are in the Suzuki Espresso. Driving it around is actually, it feels like a treat because it's comfortable, very compact, uh, not really difficult to drive. Although, yun nga, yung clutch natin is a little bit too high, so there's a tendency to kind of. Uh, kind of have difficulty in looking for the for the bite or the bite spot 
Alright, with that, we're driving around now and. Uy! Uy, you're Bro, wait lang. Gago! Tanga! Inutil! Talantado! Hindi ko nakita bro, nagbibideo tayo eh. May, may insurance ba to? May insurance ba to? May, may insurance? Ma Pero mag-ingat ka naman next time, ref. Tawagan muna natin yung management, pare. Yari tayo sa Suzuki niyan eh. Nako, nako. Paano kung wala tayong insurance? Nako. Buti meron, buti meron. Sipin mo kung wala tayong insurance, no? Kung wala. Pero kung wala tayong insurance, Money Max has the best ones around. Click the link on the description below to get a quotation sent straight to your doorstep. Remember, insurance is your family's assurance. So here we are driving the Suzuki Espresso around the city. Uh, the first thing that you notice in this car is that uh, it's a small car. It's a very compact vehicle na maliit and very easy to take around turns. Uh, so, ako naman, uh, be, for the first time driving the Espresso, the first thing I noticed was the clutch. The clutch niya is oddly soft. As in, malambot siya, guys. Malambot to the point na feeling mo magmi-mishift ka. So, merong, uh, may probability na you'll have it wrong the first time. Pero as you practice around, you'll really get it naman eventually. So looking onwards, uh, another thing that you notice is that the steering is kind of tight. Uh, it can be improved as with other aspects of the car as well as the braking system, but it's enough to stop the car at whatever speed that you're at. Uh, the car is also very light. Uh, you'd feel it from uh, the fact that the car only weighs around 800 kilograms. So to reach speeds of about 80 to 100 or so, it's not hard. So I think that's very cool. Uh, it's the perfect car to bring you from your point A to point B uh, based on the fact that yun nga, mataas ang ground clearance niya. So it's enough to braze Manila floods as well or provincial roads. So you can't really expect much from it given that it is an Econo car. Uh, I, I can't say that it's the best driving experience I've ever had but it's really enough to get you through your coding day, uh, your daily day, your daily work day, or your weekends. Whatever it may be, the Suzuki Espresso is a perfect starter car. Um, it also comes with a five-speed manual transmission. Uh, and yun nga, we mentioned kanina na wala siyang tachometer, so it'll be a little hard for first-time drivers. But once you get a feel of the car after a few drives, uh, you'll feel it as if kaibigan mo siya kasi marinig mo pag kailangan niya mag-shift. Uh, there's a turn here, and one of the things that Suzuki actually was very proud of regarding the Suzuki Espresso is its turning radius. The turning radius is so sharp that it's perfect for getting you out of the tight traffic of Metro Manila or the tight streets of Metro Manila. So I think that's a very good uh, feature that Suzuki added. So another thing that we noticed is that outside noise is actually a bit louder as compared to other cars. Although, hindi naman nakaka-bother, pero it, you can also take it into consideration when deciding for the Suzuki Espresso. Uh, we are again encountering a turn. Uh, just goes to show kung ganong ka, ka tight yung steering radius niya. Oh. It's actually more, it's tighter than most cars I've ever driven. So uh, here we are about to enter a parking lot and we are about to brace the first uh, uphill slope. And despite a car being only 1.0 liters or 1000 cc, it's enough to actually bring you up at a, at a very nice speed. So I wouldn't really be worried of driving this car up to the mountains of Baguio or Tagaytay because it will get you there safely, comfortably, and, <laughs> and gas consumption is not bad as well. So now we've seen the ins and outs of the latest Suzuki Espresso. It is a much better upgrade as compared to the old Alto and it does give off a tough a macho vibe making it look like a small crossover actually uh, because of the rubber cladding and the high ground clearance but only a reminder it is actually not a crossover but only a lifted hatchback so for aesthetics we are giving it a four out of five so for practicality purposes you can't really expect much from it because it is only a lifted hatchback but, but with that uh, what is surprising is that the rear seats actually have a pretty huge leg room you can seat up to four adults comfortably Pwede ring 5 kung may makasama kang maliit na bata. Uh, so it's just enough also to get you through the tight streets of Manila. So with that, we are giving it a grade of 3 out of 5. So now moving on to the performance of the Suzuki Espresso. Um, 
Okay, it only has a 1.0 liter engine but it's enough to bring you to speeds of 100 to 120 and so on because it is a light car only weighing around 800 kilograms. Uh, so for performance, we are giving it a 3.5 out of 5. For value for money, we are actually giving the Suzuki Espresso a very high score because you are getting the most out of your money. Uh, considering that yes, it is an entry model vehicle, it is, it is the cheapest Japanese brand new car that you could get in the market today. And the cost, 518,000 pesos. 518 guys, sobrang mura na nun. The cheapest and it's a Japanese car. And for value for money, we are giving the Suzuki Espresso a 5 out of 5. Well deserved. So for our Phil Kochi grade, the Suzuki Espresso is getting a very well deserved 4.5 out of 5. So in conclusion, this car priced at 518,000 pesos only is the cheapest car, brand new car that you could get from the Japanese market today. And despite it being an entry level model car guys, you're also getting the most out of your money. Why? Because it's perfect for Philippine roads. Bakit? Because it's high. Perfect for the flood, maliit, perfect for Manila roads. Uh, and aside from that, the gas consumption isn't bad as well. Uh, so the Suzuki Espresso is actually getting a really high grade from Phil Coche. This has been Ref Bangsil. It's been a pleasure to serve you the newest and latest Suzuki Espresso. Uh, this has been PhilCoche.com, the number one car portal in the Philippines. We'll see you guys next time.